Fixed income investments include bonds, T-bills, CDs, and money market accounts. Fixed income investments offer lower risk of loss of principal, but also lower returns than equity holdings. Bonds have a fixed dollar return after a specified number of months or years. The investor's principal investment will remain constant as long as the company or government issuing the bond remains solvent and the bond is held to maturity. The risk that an investor will lose his money is less than with equity investments, but the interest paid on the bond does not change, so the return is limited. By comparing an undiversified portfolio with a diversified one, we can understand how the principles that Mesero Financial follow are used in practice to protect clients from getting caught by a market bust like the tech crash. For an example of an undiversified portfolio, take a 10,000 share portfolio comprised of an equal amount of Intel, Cisco, Amazon, Microsoft, and Allscript stocks with no bonds. If we assume all the stocks were purchased in June 1999 for about $460,000, by February 2000, only eight months later, the portfolio was worth just under $900,000, or an annualized increase of over 285%. However, by September 2001, the portfolio was only worth about $190,000, a 60% loss from the principal investment but an 80% loss from the high of $900,000. The investor started with $460,000 and ended up with $190,000. Had the portfolio been diversified, the damage could have been minimized dramatically. Let's look at a properly diversified portfolio. First, 80% of the portfolio will be invested in equities. We will purchase mutual funds instead of individual stocks to diversify our risk. 20% will be invested in the tech stock growth fund, 20% in a small cap fund, 20% in foreign stocks, and 20% in a value fund. The final 20% will be invested in a corporate bond fund. Assuming the same $460,000 initial investment in June of 1999, the portfolio would increase to $720,000 by February. This is not as good as our tech stocks, whose value reached $900,000 during the same time, but by September 2001, our diversified portfolio was worth $550,000, while the tech stock fund had dropped to $190,000. The tech stock crash provided a good lesson for investors the financial markets always strive toward equilibrium. The only safe way for investors to take advantage of a constantly shifting market is to diversify their portfolio. There have been a number of independent studies which have proven that asset allocation is the single most important factor in determining portfolio performance. It's not investment selection, it's not timing in and out of the market, it's diversification amongst those asset classes. And if properly diversified, given your particular characteristics, uh, that will achieve your goals and objectives. And at measure